Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Colony Survival. Man, our colony is growing. We have a lot of more work to do. The colony is growing. We're up to, let's see, what does it say? 2,580 colonists here in the main colony. We have 8,215 beds available. That's crazy. And we're on day 968. I'm just looking at the data up in the top left. Food's looking really good at 335,000 meals uh, banked up. I think that number is climbing. More concerned about the trend than the amount, because uh, if it starts trending down and we don't pay attention to it, then that's when we get into trouble. But I think we're in good shape. Uh, and ammunition all looks pretty decent as well. This episode, what I want to do is, uh, we talked about this last time, is get after the science tree. We haven't done much over here lately. And I think what's next are these luxury chests. And we need cotton. So let's, uh... Or let's see, that... No, that's cotton technology we have. But we need cotton to make these luxury garments, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check that. Uh, let's head out... Here. I think we noted last time that the luxury garments are made at the dyer's table. Let me just throw one of these down before we head out there. But I think we're going to head out to the heath and plant some cotton. There's our luxury garments. Requires cotton fiber. Oh, yeah. And we said we're going to have to shore up linen, too. But let's get cotton going. And then while we're at the heath, we might... Um, shore up the mining that we have going on there as well let's see i could almost eyeball where the heath is but let's uh get our little guide here get our compass uh oh that's the marsh heath is oh man yeah the heath is a ways away tell you what i'm gonna run over there i will meet you at the heath and we will get working on Cotton farming and maybe shoring up the mining that we're doing there. And we'll take a look at the perimeter too. It feels like it's been a while since we've been there. But yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, here we're coming up on the Heath Outpost. Looks pretty cool. Now I'm remembering these huge buildings we built. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah, this is where we're going to be doing the quartz and all that stuff. Okay, well, let's see what we can set up. There's all our poison plants. And our perimeter is... It's okay. It's not great. Um, There's our banner. Yeah, we could be pushing out on this side quite a bit, I think, if we wanted to extend the perimeter... Let's see. Thinking of spending some time here. What could we do? Save some. I'm going to eat a meal here just so we're full health. Let's look at the safe zone. We've got tons of room, right? You just run out and see where things end. We want to expand. We could come out all the way out to here. We don't necessarily need to. But I'm just thinking of what the immediate thing we need to do is add farms and then maybe add another building or two for our farmers. Let's see, what is our bed count? Here we've got 215 beds and 128 colonists. Uh, so we have a lot of surplus beds. Um, some of those beds might be underground. Oh, man, we don't even have wood stairs and stuff down here. This is kind of rustic. We have some dorms down here for these guys doing the mining. Hmm. Just kind of taking a lay of the land here. Guess we could start with the cotton farms. It's not clear how much cotton we're actually going to need going forward. I know we need them for the luxury chests. Let's uh, look at that real quick. Luxury chests made at the chest maker's workshop. Okay, so we have a new station I guess we're going to get. 
Unless we have a chest. Oh, I know we do have a chest makers workshop. Uh, luxury garments. What should we do? Let's start some farms. I guess across from these wisteria plants. We have tons of that. Yeah, 30,000. I don't think that's going to need to scale up anytime soon. Oh, it's nighttime. Curious what these dorms look like in terms of how many beds are available. Bottom floor is going to be loaded. Oh, yeah, there's room here. Plenty of room in here for farmers to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the, uh... We have the guards. Hmm. Let's start in. Let's just start in and build some farms. Um, we don't need to do it on planters here. I think we can just plop them down. Not in farmer. Boom. And then where do we want to do crates? Maybe in between. That looks like it's centered. What if we just do this? Um, let me recruit. Room for another. Let me get one more in. That'll do. And now we need workstations. I mean, um, Grocery and tool stations, where should we do those? We could put them on these corners here. Um, do we want to do that? Let's do that for something different. Um, I've got tool stations here. Let's do those. Boink, 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 boink. And then how about the grocery on the other side? like that boom 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 and then maybe a light or something and then we could do the same thing on the other side that's what one one two three four five just wondering if we want to build a couple more dorms it does take some time. Oops, I need to count off my spacing here. What do we have? We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six... Five? Let me grab some leaves or something here. I just want to count off how my spacing... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five between the this guy, the plant, and the start of our cotton farms. That would be this one. I'm just going to count five from here. One, two, three, four, five. And then cotton farms. Whoops. Boom. And boom. Cotton farmer. Boom. Let's recruit. Thinking maybe twenty of these farms. And then we can work on mining, and then we gotta give, make a decision on the dorms if we're gonna add more dorms or not.
kind of wouldn't mind spending some time over here to shore up this colony. Uh, where do we say? We have the kitchens kind of further. Groceries facing this way, kind of boom. And then we want... These guys. I guess they stand wherever they want, uh, in front of the grocery. I think that was placed with the arrow like that. I don't know if the arrow matters or not with those. So that's not bad. We recruited. Yeah, I'm wondering if we need another dorm. And then also thinking about pushing out, pushing forward that wall. And I feel like we should maybe have two rows, so let's do that. Let's scale it up. Check our inventory in a minute here and see if we're actually getting the uh, what we think we're getting the cotton fiber or if it needs to be refined. Two. Expand the other side, and then we gotta we need to make some decisions. Not my strong suit. Decisions. farmers over here working. Why do I use two crates? Just for symmetry. No real reason. Don't need to. One, two, three, four. I think that's in the middle ish. Uh, groceries facing towards the center of the colony. That is that. So now what does that give us? Uh, 10 on each side, right? So 20 total cotton farms. Let's see if they've even started harvesting that yet. Uh, we could try and find out what that looks like. Is it? No, that's our linen. Wolfsbane. Yeah, we have this stuff. Hollyhock. That's off in the marsh, I believe. Three blossoms. I'm looking for cotton fiber or anything cottony. I suppose I could chew up a piece and then I would know what it would look like. Um, let's see here. 
I'm sure it's still growing. Oh, we'll just let it grow. We'll look in a little bit. Okay, the next three things we want to consider. One of those three things is adding some dorms. So I can, I can envision maybe adding two more, one on each side. Um, brick color, I don't know what we would go with. These are different, aren't they? Didn't we do these a little different, each one? Can't tell. My colorblind eyes. Maybe they're... Yeah, they're a little different. That's one project. Adding more dorms. The other project is pushing this wall out just to expand a bit. Uh, wouldn't, well, we'd have to do a little bit of terraforming to pull that off. Almost chew that manually back, but we just need to kind of carve out where the wall's going to be. And then we can let diggers kind of hollow out this middle part. But we push that wall back. Quite a ways. That would give us more room to potentially do farming and stuff if we wanted to scale up this colony. Be something to do while we're out here. So that's... Dorms is one. Pushing out the perimeter wall is two. Uh, increasing the mining that's going on here would be the third thing. I think it's, what, quartz? And what else is being mined here? Where are my stuff? Let's see. Silica sand we're mining, and what is the other thing? Sulfur is the heath. Sulfur? Sulfur. Down here somewhere, right? Oh, yeah, another project is maybe cleaning up this mining area. It's just not super pretty. We can keep the stone floors and everything. What are these guys doing? These are dorms, I guess, for the level below. Um, this is odd. Let's clean this up right now, this part. This is all stuff. I guess I can leave the, these two just in case those are useful. Alright, 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 alright. This is our sulfur, right? What are we doing on that? Doing okay. Pretty good, actually. Silica sand looks like we could throw some more miners on that. Oh, man. Just thinking. Do we want miners sitting on top of these ones that are two levels high? I guess we've decided to do that. We've got some over there. Man, it's a little interesting down here. That one I don't think I want. Just thinking what to do. Thinking about doing special diggers. Just to get some of this worked back a bit. In fact, we can do that right now. At least a little mining designation. Special digger, take out the dark stone from here. Hopefully we don't have to worry about water down here. There. Get somebody on this right now while we're kind of dawdling here trying to figure out what to do. Shoot for that. Looks like there's a few more beds here if we want to ramp up mining. This could use a digger two to clear out more space. Although this floor looks pretty dead, right? Not much in terms of the heath specific ore on this floor. I guess that's why we're using it for dorms and they're just going down to do the mining. Hmm. 
what to do. We can do a real easy mining designation here. Let's just do it. Dark stone block. I'm just doing this while I'm thinking. This is an easy way to go back a layer. Boom. 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 In fact, we could do the same thing here. Um, That's actually fine. Let's do that. I don't need to save ore here. Construction digger. You. I'll lose my torches. Not a big deal. Boom. Again, I'm just doing this while I'm thinking of what I actually want to get done on this floor. say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten beds let's set up one more dorm that'll get us 20 more beds and then let's throw some more miners down below uh these bricks i'm not sure which ones these are these regular bricks yeah yeah all right let's just do one dorm we won't spend a bunch of time doing this. But I am going to increase the number of miners down here. Just because we're out this way. Feels like we should shore things up at least a little bit. Put that down. And we want beds. Let's do something similar with the diggers down here. Construction, special digger. I just want to pull back a little bit. Easy. I don't want to have to create a big channel so we can get a huge mining area. Just going for speed. for that. And now let's see if we can tap into some of these deposits that we're not currently mining. Just give these guys room to get up here. Let's get some more miners. Construction job here. Let's 
Boom. Right there, it shouldn't get taken away. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just increasing the amount of mining we've got going on basically because we're out here. That's the main reason for doing this. Boom. These ones that are too high, two levels up, I think I'm just going to delete those out. But I'll leave them here for now. I think that's all I want to do. Let's see. We have 18 unemployed. So that's probably a combination of workers and miners. I'm going to recruit to fill all jobs. And let's scale up on the silica sand, too, while we're here. That's people over here working this? I do. Um, dorm situation. Tons of room over this way. So we'll take advantage of that. Let's uh, put some miners. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, sure. Recruit for that. That went out of the way. And let's move. Hmm. Feels like this should be near the work area, shouldn't it? These things. Boom. Kitchen. Boom. And then we want dorms. We probably don't need torches on every pillar here. Maybe we'll do this. Boink. And let's kick this out to 10. Bricks, bricks, bricks. Beds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. throw the greenery down. Oops. I don't want to keep that on my hotbar. We could push out this way or we can do one right next door. I think I'm going to do one right next door. So that's something like, I don't know, 26 beds I think we added. Let's see. We're going to get some workers rolling off of those these um, construction tasks. 
We may end up with extras. Construction digger. I'm just gonna take the opportunity to expand this very easily. While we're here. Same thing here. Boom. All right, so that is mining ramped up. We'll call that done. I guess we'll leave the stairways as they are for now. We won't convert those over to wood. Don't worry about that floor. Okay, now what's left? Let's get rid of these. Let's see if we harvested any cotton just yet. We can see cotton fiber anywhere. All right, um, I don't see it. Cotton right there, boom. Ooh, do we have to turn this into something? Let's see if we can actually make those luxury chat or the uh luxury garments let's see we'll drop down the dye worker cotton fiber no we need to make cotton fiber i bet that's the tailor maybe Converts the cotton into cotton fiber. I was a little nervous about that. I had a feeling that might be the case. Not positive it's the tailor. Nope, it's not. Oh man, so who makes cotton fiber? Cotton fiber. Um, doubt it would be the rope turners. There it is, cotton engine. That's what we're gonna need back at the main county. I don't really wanna do that here. But let's just double check and make sure that's what we think it's gonna be. Yeah, it makes cotton fiber infinite, okay. Requires machine tools for boost. We have some of those in inventory. All right, we'll do that back at the main county. Do we want to do dorms here? Feel like I should. Yeah, while we're here, let's um, let's do the things we should probably do. Let's kick this out a bit. Kick out the perimeter wall. I can probably do this in a time lapse. Let's take a look at where the safe zone ends again. Gonna have to do some fill because the train's not level. We don't necessarily need to come all the way out this far, but we could. And if we did, we came out all the way. Hmm. Kind of like the idea of having this wall kind of extend out rather than um, kind of how we have it in the main colony where. The guards start shooting once people come in the perimeter wall. I kind of like this area sticking out because these guys have a nice shot out this way and out that way. So let's let's do something here. Um, what is all this marsh grass or something? Heath dirt. Let's grab some heath dirt. I just want to level this land a bit. I'm not going to do this all by hand, but I just want to see where these little walls are going to stick out from the main perimeter wall. I want to stick with that design for this outpost. Okay, and where's our safe zone end? We have a ways to go yet. Oh, 
hopefully this will make sense in a second here or two. And these guys are actually standing on top of the hedge. A little goofy. I think I'm going to move off of that. I do like the way the hedge looks and all. Something about having them standing on the shrubs seems strange to me. <laughs> All right, let's um, grab bricks. I'm going to verify these are the right ones. That looks like them. If we come out here, there's the end of the safe zone. Do I have one more block? Yeah, I do. Boom, that's the end of the safe zone. So these would be the new kind of guard walls. Do we want to kick those out by one? I kind of do. I think that looks a little better when it's wider. Let's go 10 wide. Bear with me. Just trying to find out where the um, perimeter wall is going to be. So I'm measuring out how far I want this little extension to jut out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do 12 and call this the perimeter wall. So our guards will be standing up there. That's a step for them to get up. Step for them to get up. Whoops. Yeah, we wanted to go two out. That's the new perimeter wall, so we'll get a ton of space, and then we'll get um, diggers and everything to clear out these trees, and we'll do some of this on a time lapse, but I need to do, before we can do any of this, I need to get the perimeter wall marked off, and I need to think about what this is going to do in terms of... Um, our current defenses. I guess I can just leave this in place. Leave that wall as is. Boom, boom. Oh man, we're running out of time. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. Next episode, we will jump in and extend this perimeter wall out. Boom, get new guards. And I want to switch over to using the musket guards. Musket and the hand cannon guards instead of these crossbow folks. Um, if we look in our inventory, we have, I noticed, a ton of musket ammo. So that is awesome. And I'm thinking that the guards that are sitting on this wall right here, they it might make sense for them to actually have the muskets because they have a long shot. Boom, they, they've got, they can see all the enemies coming in from long range. I guess these guys can kind of too. Hmm. Oh, what we could do. Whoa, I have some ideas. I have some ideas. We'll pursue those next episode. <laughs> I think we'll leave it here. I got some ideas how we can leverage the muskets too. I mean the hand cannon guys too. Those are like the shotguns, shorter range, um, but a good amount of damage.
Does it show here? Here's the hand cannons. 1300 damage every 10 seconds up to 10 block distance. Those guys are the short. And then the muskets, 500 damage, not as much. Every seven seconds, but they have three times the firing distance. So not bad at all. But yeah, let's spend a little time here at the Heath making things better. Where are guards are going to sleep? I'm not sure. But uh, okay, here come the enemy. I don't think I jeopardized anything with what I've done. I think they can't climb my walls or anything. So yeah, we'll leave this one here. Next episode, we're going to do some more work on the Heath. Expand this outpost a bit. Still got to decide on dorms. If we're going to do more, a couple more buildings or not. And we've already shored up the mining and we have cotton underway, but just a little bit more um, to improve the heath. Ooh, are those guys? They're not on the wall, right? They're just on the land. Yeah. All right. That's it for this episode. For now, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to GliderCat patrons and channel members whose contributions make this content possible. Um, also, thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. It's easy to forget, but it does mean a lot. So for those of you that are remembering to hit the thumbs up button, I do appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.